Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so yeah, today has been a day of a lot of surprises, I believe. All of you were probably hooked to your mobile screens watching the latest scorecards. We will talk about scorecards in my presentation as well. So before uh, you know, I, went, I go ahead with my presentation, I want to thank uh, lunch. All right, so not taking much time. Uh, I'm Kanishk Tongya, uh, the CBO at Access Track. Uh, I'll be talking about the role of managed control towers in navigating logistical challenges. So this is a presentation that's very relevant to all the large fleet owners as well as consigners with uh, a good amount of logistics operations. Okay, before we go ahead into the topic, let me act, uh, introduce Access Track. Uh, we are a digital, uh, a unified digital ecosystem provider for the transportation and logistics industry. We are on a mission to transform this industry, not just in India, but globally. We have more than a decade and a half experience in, in, the, logistics uh, in the logistics industry. A lot of it is also a first-hand experience as we, all, we also started by our own fleet of more than 200 trucks. Uh, the, the scale of our current operations can be, uh, you know, uh, can be understood from some of the data points mentioned on the screen here. Uh, we have more than four and a half lakh point of interest. Every dhava, every uh, toll booth, every petrol pump, every mechanic shop, every wine shop on the Indian highways is all geofenced, earmarked on our platform. That's how rich the data that we use for our analytical engine and the AI-based analytical engine is. Uh, we generate more than two and a half crore alerts on a daily basis. We uh, capture more than 1.8 billion data points on a daily basis and almost three billion kilometers has already been tracked using our uh, solutions. Uh, the portfolio of our current uh, solution uh, landscape uh, we provide a lot of solutions for consigners as well as large fleet owners from outbound solutions to inbound uh, movement. Also, uh, the within plant vehicle movement. Then for large fleet owners, we have a lot of utilities built. We have the ADAS DMS solutions. We have CAN devices. Uh, we provide a lot of uh, digital utilities such as Chalan management system, document management system, uh, etc. Also, something which I'll be going in further detail today is our managed control tower solution. So with this, what I want to convey is that our, with our breadth of solutions, we are a one-stop shop for all the uh, logistics, digitization necessities for the large fleet owner as well as a consigner. Uh, some of our representative customers, we work across industries with uh, consigners based in cement industry, uh, metals industry, automobiles, e-commerce, etc. And also with a large number of large fleet owners. So, you know, when we talk of transportation and logistics uh, sector, it's a very complex and very operations heavy uh, uh, industry. And something which, which is a surprise that the, the adoption of technology in this complex industry is very less, whereas the scope is very high. Scope for improving the op operations and bringing in efficiency is very, very high. So at Access Track, when we brainstorm, we, we thought about what actually are the major challenges or areas of improvement when we want to make this transformation, when we want to bring about this transformation in, the, in this industry using technology as a tool. So we bucketed the major key challenges into three different categories. The product category, the people, as well as the processes. Talking of product, if we look at the, the, the product side of things in the industry today, uh, the vendor ecosystem is very fragmented. There are hundreds and hundreds of very small size uh, technology solution provider. And the problem with this is that A, they themselves lack a vision or the capability to provide deep tech solutions that solves the real problem. 
problem of the industry. Most of them are very, uh, they solve a part of the problem or are not very deep in terms of their technical capability. And hence, the actual requirement of the industry always remains unmet. The second challenge with this fragmentation is the interoperability problem. They all work in silos. There is no standardization of the data. And hence, that makes the exchange of whole data very difficult or, in some cases, impossible. There is no, uh, uh, you know, that, that hinders the ability of a large fleet owner or a consigner to create an integrated end-to-end -end workflow. Uh, then coming to the people problem. The people problem, although today at least we, this, this is a problem that's becoming uh, uh, better day by day. However, still we see that the industry structure is such that while the top management has a vision, they are now most of the second generation people in this industry are all mostly foreign educated or educated from higher, uh, you know, high, uh, highly educated and they understand the global standards. However, the middle and the bottom layer, there is a, there is a very big gap in, in technology adoption or even the realization that technology is something that can solve their problems. So that is a people uh, uh, challenge. The industry is still very far from being automated. The processes are not there. Standardization and processes is not there. There is no uniformity. Uh, also, there is no real, uh, I would say, evolved processes to even manage the productivity of the uh, people that work, especially in the operation side. So, you know, how do we solve for these three major problems? So we came up with a solution of managed control tower where we married deep AI-enabled technology with, with highly trained uh, team of executives backed and supported by an uh, entire productivity enhancement layer. So in essence, what a managed control tower is, so if you look at this diagram on the screen, at the bottom, there is an entire fragmented ecosystem which forms the feeder layer. We take inputs from all of these different sources of data. It can be the GPS devices. We have more than 100 GPS providers in India, GPS system providers in India. So uh, this layer integrates with all of them. Then we have the uh, variety of ERP and TMS applications, the fast tech data, various government portals, various OEM systems, uh, third-party sims, etc., etc., etc. So this layer collects the inputs from all of these uh, variety of sources. It unifies them into a data processing layer, which is enabled using variety of artificial intelligence uh, utilities in it. And then this AI data processing layer interacts with the cloud manpower. So we have a team of more than 300, uh, uh, a 300 strong team that constantly interacts with this uh, data processing layer and collects insights from this layer. There is an entire alert-based, event-based alert ecosystem which this cloud manpower constantly uh, interacts with. And then based on the event and the alerts generated, it runs and manages your uh, uh, you know, vehicle visibility operations and gives, you, and gives you the escalations wherever required. So in a sense, it also acts as an L1. It interacts with the man at the wheel. It interacts with the operations manager of uh, a large fleet owner as well as uh, the operations team of the consigners and also provides variety of interactions to the top management. Then in parallel, we have a ad advanced MIS reports built on this data processing layer. This MIS reports gives intelligent insights to the top management, actionable insights. Today, what happens is the top management has a vision, but, but it doesn't have real uh, a single window visibility into their entire operations. And this is something that Managed Control Tower solves for them. We also provide an AI-enabled centralized communication platform 
where all these stakeholders, whether it is the customer, the consigner, the truck driver, senior management, or the owner of the fleet, uh, the, the resolution team, the transporter, everybody is having a single source of data. They, uh, there is no data or information asymmetry between different stakeholders. The centralized communication is uh, generative AI based. I'll give you an example of how it works. You know, if a driver is stuck at, let's say, a toll booth, all he has to do, or let's say it's, if he's caught by an RTO agent at the border, all he has to do is use his WhatsApp and send a voice message to a centralized number. Automatically, the AI engine will understand what the problem is, whether it's a document problem, whether it's a money problem, or any other uh, license issue or any documentation issue. It will automatically understand it and assign it to the relevant stakeholder through a alert-based mechanism with a well-defined turnaround time. So this, this, this is how I mean. This is one of the ways that this uh, com centralized communication platform helps. Also, let's say if you are a large fleet owner and you want to get certain reports, uh, for example, if you want to get a vehicle visibility at the end of the day today. All you can do is either send a WhatsApp message on this number, or you can send a voice message. Our AI engine will automatically decode it, and, and very quickly, you'll have the required report. You can also get trend-based reports. So there, are, there are lots of information. All you have to do is just either send a message, or we have an IVR system. We have lots of mechanisms through which we enable this uh, centralized communication. What you get as part of the benefits of adopting managed control tower for your operations? So one, you get a very good visibility. See, one of the things that most of the large fleet owners who are there in this room, they would understand is that today they're always struggling to really know what actually is happening. There is one thing that their operations team tells them. There is another thing that's actually happening on ground. And by the time they realize that there is a problem, it's too late. The damage has already happened. And we keep coming across these incidents where a vehicle owner, uh, where a fleet owner does not know that the driver is actually resting at his home with, with a full load of truck. For four days, his house is on the way and he stopped by there. And there is hardly any visibility. Even if there is a basic visibility, there is no really an alert mechanism. There is no really action happening because nobody is really actually uh, looking into it through by using technology. So issues like these are very common. So what a detailed MIS provides is enhanced visibility, which helps in making effective uh, uh, data-driven decisions. Uh, then it also helps in improvising the overall efficiency of your fleet. It helps in enhancing the fleet utilization, uh, which directly impact your top line as well as bottom line. We've seen that by adopting Managed Control Tower, a fleet owner's daily KMPD has increased in more than double-digit percentage points. We've seen, I mean, one of the highest, best customer that we had, they had even more than 20% of increase in their daily kilometer run by every vehicle on an average. And these are the kind of impacts that has, have been generated by uh, having a tight uh, Managed Control Tower adoption. Then one of the biggest benefit for a large fleet owner is that a lot of times they have the ideas, but the implementation doesn't happen because the actual execution team either resists the adoption of technology or they just don't understand. So the idea to implementation is greatly reduced because today they can implement all their policy if they want to have uh, let's say they want to stop night, night driving or they want to apply certain localized policies, they can do it through this cloud manpower which is always, uh, you know, which is highly trained by the access track team. They have a lot more uh, access to data. They have a lot more access to technology. So th the idea to implementation time is shortened a great deal for a large fleet owner. Then there is another problem that they always face is high churn rate. Now, since we have a huge economies of scale, we have large team and large buffers, we also ensure, the managed control tower also ensures that their businesses are not 
impacted due to churn in this executive layer of people? Sir, I would request you please sum it up in a minute. Yes, sir. That's the last slide. Uh, well, there is a lot more innovation that has happened both on the technology side in how the actual platform works, how, what are the kind of alerts it generates, how the severity management happens for all the alerts, how the productivity management happens for the cloud manpower as well as the manpower of the fleet owner itself. Uh, based on all of this innovation, we are very happy to let you know that very recently won, we won the innovation award for specifically how we have, uh, you know, brought about new technology innovations and process innovations in managed control tower. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much, sir, for this Thank insightful you. presentation. A round of applause for Mr. Kanish.